Hello everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. Today is Wednesday, September the... No, it's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. <laughs> September the 3rd. Hi Fran! I'm so excited! I'm going to showcase another set that you probably think you didn't need, but I'm hoping to convince you that now you need it. Before we do that, I'm just going to do one commercial today. Well, maybe I'll do two or three, but I'm excited. I started prepping for the breast cancer fundraiser that I do in October, and I've done this for the last few years. I usually do one for the for CHEO, which is our children's hospital of Eastern Ontario in June. And now I'm, and I always do one in October for breast cancer because I know many people who have been touched with breast cancer and so I think it's the more re money we can get into research the better. So I haven't finished it but I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. It's pretty intense this kit that I'm providing um, and it's based on the snowflake suite. So let me grab it. going to turn it around. And I'll just tell you all the components of it. So it's based on, I should have flagged it in the catalog, but I forgot. I was so excited when I was designing it that I totally forgot. Today we're working with In the Pines, a beautiful set. Oh, I'll have to try it with the moose. I see the moose up there. But this one is Snowflake Wonder. I don't know where in the world you live, but I live in Ottawa, Canada. We get a lot of snow. Well, maybe not a lot compared to what you get, but we get a lot of snow. And we have snowy, cold winters. Hi, Pat. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting your hair done. I was there on Tuesday, but I did not get any highlights or dye. I'm letting my hair go back to its natural color, which is white. Oh, anyways, it's all good. So it's focusing on Snowflake Wishes bundle. Actually, the whole suite is incredible. So I've designed a package that includes, it's like a sampler pack, really of the paper, the glimmer paper, the adhesives, the ribbon, other ribbons that coordinate, um, the stamp set. I want to keep the price point not too high and this you could buy as an add-on. I will have add-on features in it but let me run you through what so far. I just started working on it this morning but I was so excited I wanted to share it with you. All right so what your kit will include, your kit is going to be $75, 100% of the profits go to breast cancer research. There will be multiple options of things that you can purchase. For instance, if you purchased only the PDF, then all the money goes to cancer, breast cancer research. But for $75, you actually get $65 in products. So you get the stamp set, not the bundle, but you can add on the um, the dies because not everyone has a die cutting machine. So the stamp set, a quarter pack of the designer series paper, which is incredible. I loved the stuff last year and this is just a different look but it's very very beautiful and look at all the colors it coordinates with. It's so pretty. I'm going to show you a bonus card that you're going to get. So a quarter pack of the DSP, it'll be six by six. Let me move this out of the way because I have this all set up to show you. a quarter pack of the stars so that's these little stars here so you'll get three so I'm just giving you like a sample of everything so that you can see if you like them so here's the three little stars that you'll get a ribbon so you get two yards of three types of ribbon so this one is the uh, what's it called it's the snowflake ribbon Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. It is 
beautiful. Kind of has hints of blue and purple and whoever designed this is incredible. It's really pretty. So you get two yards. I did it yards because they come in yards even though we're metric. Two yards of this sheer ribbon which is actually part of the whale down set but it matches the paper and you'll get two yards of the tool ribbon. I don't want to show you the card yet. The polka dot tool ribbon. Hi Cindy. So I'm hoping even if you're a demonstrator that you will support this. My goal is to sell 35 kits and if you get someone, no that's the wrong word, if you refer someone to me to get a kit there'll be a little bonus in the mail for you. I'm not doing this for profit at all. All the money will go back to breast cancer research. All right, you also get a third of the pack of the blue gems. So here they are here. And a, so we have all these little notes here. Quarter pack of the snowflake gems. So there's actually the two sheets and there's different ones. These ones are more iridescent. No, these are more iridescent. I don't know. These are more a bit colored. I'm not really sure. So you'll get two strips of those. Um, snowflake gems. Yeah, that's the snowflake gems. You'll get a wink of Stella because you need to have a wink of Stella. And I don't think I put it on here, but you also get a container of the snowflake sequins. And so one of the cards will be a shaker card. So you can use the snowflake. And you can see how I was busy cutting out snowflakes. I don't even know if you can see it, if it's on the screen. You can see all the snowflakes I was cutting out, just trying out the different colors of the snowflakes. So here is kind of a look of what you'll get. Not all the snowflakes, but. So here's the, six, there's six different pieces of designer series paper. That's your ribbon pack plus the tool. I didn't have any more, I ran out. The snowflake sequins, the blue gems and the snowflake backed, uh, adhesive backed snowflakes is what they're called. So it's a great little starter kit. Then you know what you like and what you might want to order again. The blue glimmer paper, balmy blue. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Hi, Diane. And so you'll get um, two pieces of this and then two pieces of each of the six pieces of designer series paper. It's an October special because in, uh, in Canada, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is October. There's the backs of the paper. There's the fronts of the paper. And you will receive the stamp set. This is a big stamp set. It's a $35 stamp set. It's got two sets of stamps. And if you already have it, I don't think many of my customers do, but if you already have it, we can swap it out for something else. And here's the bonus card that you will get, because this is a pretty wow card. So this is the bonus card you'll get. If you've done my classes before, everything is prepped. You just have to stamp your own greeting. That's why I think it's a good idea to get the stamp set. The greetings on it are so cute. Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. Our friendship is one of a kind. In the coldest moments of the year, my heart is warm because you're near. Oh, I hadn't read that one before. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Happy Hanukkah. May your season sparkle. That one is so pretty. And they're quite a bit bigger than what they show in there. So, for instance, the thank you snow much is quite large. Well, they're all a lot bigger than what they show. Anyways, it's a, it's a fundraiser. As I said, I'm covering, so the $65 is, there's that does not include tax and shipping. I'm covering that and a lot of there'll be a lot of other things in the in the kit if you've ever ordered any of my kits you know that i just got a whole shipment of starbucks lattes and hot chocolates and all good things so i encourage you even if you're a demonstrator perhaps you could purchase the pdf and um, as i said all money will go to breast cancer research it will stay in in ontario but you know what if someone finds a cure we all benefit so let me show you the wow card. So you'll receive eight cards. 
I provide envelopes, I provide everything stamped, embossed, ready to just put together and add your greeting. This one will have a little bit of stamping of some of the snowflakes because you'll have the whole set. And the colors it coordinates with are Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pool Party, and Whisper White. Like all of our blues. I think the only one not, oh no, Night of Navy's in there. I don't think there's any blues missing. Uh, maybe Seaside Spray. But it will match, the paper is so beautiful, it will match any blues that you have. So I just want you to be watching for this. Um, I haven't quite finished designing the whole thing. So this is the wow card. You'll get one of these because it actually has quite a bit of paper on it. So it ties with that beautiful polka dot tool ribbon, which I think looks like snowballs. It's so cute. So then when you open it up, this gives you an idea of the die cuts in if you add on the die the um, dies to the this set. It's so pretty. And then the paper, because it's reversible, or not reversible, two-sided. Look how pretty that is. This is the beautiful snowflake embossing folder. You could add that on. That's not included, because not everyone has a cut, uh, embossing machine. Wait till you see the next one. Look at that. So this is one of the die cuts in the set. It's so, so pretty. And this is Purple Posy, actually. It's not even one of the colors listed, but... I think it looks really pretty. So this card will be a, a bonus card that you will receive all ready for you to put together. I'm not going to try to tie the bow right now. So that's all the stuff. Um, it, it's not even available yet. I just this is like the sneak peek. But I was so excited I was designing it this morning and I, so I just had to show you. All right. So hopefully some people will decide that they want to purchase that set. Okay, Canada Post just drove down my driveway. They have never actually delivered to my house before. It's a miracle. So today we're working with a new set in the pines, which comes with the, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I was gonna say I have so many die sets on the go here comes with these amazing die sets hopefully the Canada Post guy don't owe him any money so what you need to know about these dies hi Darlene these dies some of them cut out some of them do not I don't know what the other word for it is um, some of them have stamps that coordinate with them some of them don't but it's an incredible set and I'll show you some of the finished die cut pieces so you will you can see what exactly they look like. And you can learn from my mistakes because I tried one and I thought, oh, okay, that's not exactly what I thought. Oh, it's more Amazon packages. All right, I think he's just leaving it. I love deliveries. All right, so for instance, this one just does the outline of the tree whereas another one does the intricate parts of the tree. And there is a stamp, and it's, all, it's a two stamp, so it's got the outline and the, um, like the watercolor part of that. And then you can also just stamp the outline. So it's a really versatile. This one, I thought I was stamping this one, and then when I stamped it, it actually cut it out. So there's a stamp that does this, so it doesn't cut it out, it just does the impression or the cutout on your piece. And then this one that cuts it right out. So there's so many different ones. And then there's little ones that have that and that as well. So lots of variety and I've kept them all here because I've been changing my mind every time I look at my cards. So let's get started and get all that stuff out of the way. We might use some of these maybe. All right, so three cards today. Two of them are quite similar, just bl one's blingier and one's not. This is the Balmy Blue Glitter Paper, and it is so pretty, and it die cuts very easily. So there was no problem with any of these, and I don't know if you noticed on the tray I had before, 
there was lots of snowflakes that I die cut out and they all die cut very easily. That's, a, that's important to me because I cut a lot for classes and I don't want it to be finicky. All right, so I have started with this, then added this, and then I thought the snowflakes took away from the glitter. So this is how my mind works. I'm back to this. So card base, Whisper White. I would use thick, I didn't have any thick left. Eight and a half, I think I do somewhere in my craft room, but since I tidied up, I couldn't find it. Eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half or scored at four and a quarter. Balmy blue, four by five and a quarter. That's gonna be our next layer. So all our cards today focus on balmy blue because I wanted to pull in the glitter paper and just show you how pretty it is. Then I have a piece of Whisper White, which is three and three quarters by five. And I have a piece of Balmy Blue glitter that is two and a quarter by three and a half. So that's gonna go behind this. So I'm gonna take, I think, I should have grabbed a new white glue. Just gonna put a little bit around it Hopefully I didn't go too wide, but it doesn't matter because it's getting glued down. I just want to make sure I've covered everything up. I do too, darling. This is my first day playing with it, and I'm in love. All right, so when I started out, I thought this looked too white. That's why I went ahead and added these snowflakes, which is one of the stamps in the stamp set. It's a tiny little one though, so I stamped it quite a few times, but I did stamp it in Pool Party, which is a lighter blue, and I stamped off before I stamped it. But then I decided I would keep them separate. So, it's got a little mark there. I know what exactly it's from, and this is a note to self. When you die cut stuff and there's little pieces left on your, on your plate, then it does make an impression because it's an embossing machine. All right. I don't think I'm adding any ribbon to this. The other thing cool about this set is it's got these snow hills. So I am going to use that, but I'm going to turn it this way only because when you turn it this way, it doesn't really tuck underneath as much as I'd like it to. So let me stop talking and just get busy here. So we're just going to add our balmy blue. I was, I was just thinking if I wanted to add ribbon or anything underneath, but I don't think I will. I'm not sure, Barb, how many bows we're going to have today. Is Barb on? I haven't seen my neck. Then we're going to add, okay, so that one's good. I'm going to add this one. I have a set from last year. What's it called? With trees and tree cutouts so I didn't really know if I needed this one but I was wrong I needed it it's different I'm trying to think what the one from last year is called it's called I can see it on the shelf called winter woods or something like that anyways I thought maybe I didn't need it but I was wrong so I'm gonna put this this way and what I should have done before I did that is trim it so I'm just gonna eyeball it perfect I think I'll use glue because some of the these parts are pretty skinny Now, one thing to think about that I'm thinking about now after I just did that is if you want to tuck anything behind, make sure that you do it before you glue it down. So we'll just have to play with it. All right, so because we have this beautiful glitter tree, I felt like we didn't need to have too much over here. 
I never thought of that one because I actually cut it out accidentally. What I was thinking of, I'm not sure I'll put that one in, is maybe one of the non-glittery ones. And one of the glittery ones. Because really, this one is the star of the show. Changing my mind now. No, I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to do this one flat and try to tuck it under before it dries. You're right, darling, you can never have too many trees. And as you guys know, I live in a little subdivision called the Pinery. So I love pine trees. So that one is flat. And this one I'm going to pop up. So I'm going to use little dimensionals. Actually, I'm just noticing a whole bunch of pokey pieces that I did not poke out. When it's the first time using it, you're not really sure exactly what it looks like. So it's a bit of a trial and error. This is so pretty. And there are, they're so realistic because I can tell you there are a lot of pine trees around here that look exactly like this. And I don't know if where you live you have pine trees like this, but we definitely do. Okay, what did I do with my little dimensionals? Oh, there they are. So this is pretty small, so I'm hoping I can find spots that will hide the dimensionals. Because cutting these little tiny ones in half is a bit of a chore, but I'm going to do it anyways. Now, had I been smart, I could have cut this, oh no, not for this one. I was going to say I could have cut it out using one of the adhesive sheets, which I did do for the words, but then I wouldn't have been able to pop it up. All right, that looks good. And I, you don't want them all exactly the same height, so I'm going to put this one a little bit higher. And it hides my little mistake there. Bonus. And then I did cut out joy and peace from the joy dies. So these are bubble dies. So they actually have three different layers. I just used the script for the word. And then they have like bubbles. And we'll use those on another day. But I was thinking maybe this might look good somewhere. But now that I'm doing, and I did remember to put adhesive strips on these. So I did grab the pack. These are called adhesive sheets. We had them a while ago and then they went away, but they're back. You have to remember though, this is the tricky part, to put it on your piece before you die cut it. And then you can just peel it off and it will stick in theory. I don't know if that's too much glitter. I wish we had the little puffy paint that we had last year. I could add it to the snow. Does anyone else add something? I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. This one I think is too big. Looking for opinions, looking for opinions. All right, we also have these little things that we could add if we wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna wait and hear from you guys. The next card is the first one that I had actually done and then I added the snowflakes. So let's go ahead and just put this one together. It seems like I'm babbling on today. All right, so sticking with balmy blue for all three cards. So we'll add this one again. The second layer is four by five and a quarter. This layer is three and three quarters by five. I love those little snowflakes. You need to be patient though when you're putting them on. 
So this one I wanted to just show you how it could be for things other than Christmas. So in the stamp set it's got Seasons Greetings and Thinking of You. Seasons Greetings and Thinking of You. I do too, darling. Do you think it's too big though? Or right down there? It is so peaceful. I'm out with my dog every morning out in our woods behind our house. And it just, it's my happy place. Now, I should have done this before so I get it straight, but we're going to hope for the best. All right, that's not bad. So because this one is just the paper behind it and not glitzy, I feel like I could go with more of the trees and then add some glitz over here. So what I was thinking of is a glitz, a tree, <laughs> it looks exactly like the other one. Oh my gosh, I'm so predictable. Hmm. Teresa, neither they are too big. That's what I think. I think they're too big, but I do like Maybe if I, hey, maybe for this, oh no, I already have. If I had maybe kept that one off, I could have put it here. All right, let's just keep going. Okay, so I think I like that one there. So I'm just going to put a bit of snail. No, stamp and seal. And I am going to make it so that it's tucked and overlapping all these edges. Then I'm going to put this one... trying to do like a little forest. There are the little ones as well, but they look too small next to these ones. You either have to have them in the distance or, and you can't have all the trees exactly the same height, although sometimes in the forest, they're pretty similar. And I have to make sure that the trunks are hidden by the snow. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some stamp and seal on this one. I don't know. I'm so indecisive today. I don't know what it is. Okay, I like that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to add one more, but this one again, oh, maybe this one is better. Yeah, this one's better. It's got all these little pokey things out of it. I think you would have to use either these trees or these trees because the size difference is quite a lot. So let's just go ahead and put some dimensionals on this. I'm just going to cut some little strips and see if maybe that works. You really don't want these showing. I was going to say, where are the other ones? All right. I think it's quite all right to have a card without a sentiment. And then you can just write something inside. There's some beautiful, in the snowflake one, there's some beautiful sentiments that you could add. See this one? You can see a little bit. Just gonna bug me. All right, I think for this one, I might add some little gems. And I'll do something there later. I think maybe just the little ones. There. You could also, well, I don't think we really need Link of Stella on this. All right, I'm going to take Joy off and just leave that. I wonder, 
no, the bows for the next one. This one definitely needs something else. I'm just not sure what yet. So let's leave it for now. All right, the last one is a different, uh, a little bit of a different look. So we have Balmy Blue, same as we did before. Then I have Whisper White, four by five and a quarter, and I've embossed it using the Snowflake embossing folder. So we'll just go ahead and add that. This embossing folder is really pretty. We've had lots of snowflake embossing folders in the past, but this one is very pretty. Now what I've done, and I'll just show you my thought process for this. I started with this piece using the same cutout because I wanted to kind of mimic this but have it the focal point of the card. And then I had it with just a piece of the balmy blue underneath. I hadn't done the corners yet. And it was missing something. So then I added the balmy blue. And then I thought, what about if I had the balmy blue glitter paper just a little bit wider? So then I switched to this. And I like that better. All right, so let's go ahead and add this. I don't know if I'm in camera anymore. So I did um, trim the corners, round the corners I should say, using the try punch. I used it the other day and I couldn't remember if it was in the new catalog, but it is in the new catalog. So you can use that. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up because this card is very simple. The tree is the star of the show. And then I'll show you what I did for the ribbon. I don't know if we have any balmy blue ribbon. I could use a snowflake ribbon. Maybe I'll try that. All right, so there we have that. I did take some crinkled seam binding ribbon and my blends, the dark balmy blue blend, and I colored a piece of ribbon. It might fit on another card. I'm having a thought here. So anyways, I did that. It makes the ribbon a little more stiff, but it's you can make your ribbon any color that you have a blend for, which I think is awesome. All right, so there's that. So this one I'm not putting a seine on. And my idea was to just put a ribbon. All right, hold that thought because I just remembered, oh, here it is, the snowflake ribbon, but it has this little purple glinge to it, so I'm not sure if it'll work. We'll try though. I do like that one. That was the dark, and even the dark, it's not quite as dark as the glimmer paper, but it's definitely as dark as the paper. I think the glimmer paper is a little bit darker than the balmy blue. Maybe it's just the glimmer in it. I don't know. This one, when you put it down, I think it looks too pink. So I'm gonna stick with my colored ribbon. I actually have enough for another one, so we'll see if maybe it works on one of the other cards as well. This bar bow is for Barb. I'm not sure if Barb is on today. Totally simple card. I think that's really pretty though. We could add some gems, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it for that one. So let's leave that one. This one, I'm going to tie another bow and then see if we need it anywhere else, but we might be done. So the In the Pines set is definitely one that you'll want on your list. This ribbon ties really nice bows.
All right, so we got a bow there. I'm not feeling it. Let's add it here because this card definitely needs something else. I'm just not sure what it is. I can always go back and do a little sentiment. And sometimes I try to too, put too much on the card, but I could maybe put season's greetings there. Let's try that. Where's the stamp? So season's greetings. I don't even think I've used that yet. And let's hope it's not bumpy underneath so I don't make a mess of my whole card now that it's done. And if I do, then you just make a little flag and put it on. It just needs something. I, I like white space, but that's a bit too much white space for me. All right, I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit so I make sure it's straight. All right, that looks better. I'm more happy with that. All right, so today's cards feature balmy blue. Now I feel like I can add, I wonder, there's the little snowflake ones too. There's these ones that are more pinky, but these ones are more iridescent. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with these and maybe add a couple to this card. That's too big. Yeah. So season's greetings, thinking of you. So just showing you how you can use the same set for Christmas and non-Christmas. And then in the middle, we have nothing, so it could be for anything. Thank you, it was a bit of a crazy, I don't know. So many elements that you could add and I'll have to try doing one tomorrow with this piece because you're right, Darlene, it would be so pretty with just, maybe just one tree and piece or I don't know. It needs to be something really simple because this is a fairly big word. All right, that'll be tomorrow's challenge for me to come up with something for peace. And the other one was joy. Oh, there's joy. Could do it there, but to me, this is the focal point of the card. So we kind of need to keep with the integrity of the focal point. All right, I'm just gonna slide everything out of the way so I can get a good thumbprint. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you are inspired to go and make a card, send a card, and that you enjoy the In the Pines stamp set. You could totally use that too in wood grains and more neutral colors, and it would be great for masculine cards, which are always hard to think about how to do masculine cards. All right, more details on my breast cancer fundraiser Tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, or perhaps Sunday, because I want to do some of the designs as well so that I can show you exactly what you'll be getting. All right, thank you for joining me today. I will see you back tomorrow. Have a great afternoon and enjoy the sunshine. At least it's sunny here in Ottawa. Thanks and have a great day.